Morning. This is Arnie Waters. Today we're going to be looking at a variety of topics. Let's start with gold. Gold trading around 1660. Our forecast for this week is unchanged to slightly down. Now we're going to look at the rest of the world. The Bundesbank is refusing to accept as collateral, uh, any collateral from countries that have bought, from banks of countries that were bailed out in the Euro fund. Uh, this is a quite a significant sign that, in fact, people are viewing the credit situation in those countries as deteriorating. When you couple this with the Greek and French elections coming up next month, it gives one pause for thinking the Euro situations uh, are, are, are contained. Uh, part of our view is the situation is going to be ongoing throughout the year. Now, uh, we're changing the subject again to look at housing before we go to China. Uh, we think housing may have bottomed, according to Steve uh, Prococo of Lark Research. And we think Hobnanian, which was once a $60 stock, might well uh, give us some upward movement from its present range. Now, in uh, the situation with Bo in China, now there are rumors of a coup attempt. Uh, based in the $32 million city, excuse me, 32 million population city of Zhongding. Okay, please correct me, you Chinese speakers. Now, this in this location, six people were arrested over the weekend for plotting a coup. This is tied, in our view, to the arrest and subsequent, excuse me, is tied to the death of Neil Haywood. Neil Haywood, of course, is a British citizen and friend of the Bow family, perhaps an employee of the larger Bow group, uh, who may or may not have had ties to uh, English intelligence uh, services. Now, uh, this is very significant, this uh, business about a coup attempt, because it is uh, it has been a question of ours for some time uh, why the uh, Chinese Office uh, of State Security moved so dramatically against Bo, and this may well be the reason that Bo and some of his henchmen were plotting a coup. Now, I'm not sure about that because Bo is still alive, apparently, and he's uh, down in uh, Baidahi Resort, which is uh, down near where the Great Wall meets the sea. So uh, part of our view of the situation in China is that the situation becomes more and more curious, more and more interesting. Keep an eye on those uh, Chinese blogs to give you even more information, especially since the government is aggressively trying to close down uh, Twitter and other uh, social media messaging accounts. So this is Arnie Waters. Continue to aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day.